These are the case notes for case number 1522. Patient's name, Leanne Balchuk. Suffers from paranoid delusions due to severe stress in her personal and professional life. After 60 consecutive weekly sessions with her, I have been unable to make any progress with the patient. In fact, she's been getting worse over the last few months, and she comes in every single week with a new delusion. So if I'm unable to make even the slightest progress with her today, I'll have to refer her to Dr. Thompson, and this will most likely be our last session. You seem extremely distressed today, Mrs. Baltuck. What's bothering you? It's my husband, Dr. Richards. I thought things were improving between the two of you. It's not that, um... <clears throat> I, I think, um... I... My husband is the beach of serial killer. Wow. That's an extremely paranoid thought. What makes you think that? Well, um... I didn't want to believe it at first, but... All the clues point to it. And it's been building up for months and months, and now I'm sure that it's true. Wait, what clues? Well... He's always coming home late from work, okay, and then leaving weird hours. And he always claims that he has to work late. But I checked, and he's been lying. Just because he's coming home late doesn't mean that he's a killer. There could be a lot of reasons for that. Well, when he does come home, um, he he goes straight to the shower, okay, even though he already took one in the morning. It still doesn't mean that he's killing people. But one night I followed him and checked into a seedy motel room. Uh, he stayed there for hours. Yeah. Oh, there could be another reason for that. But you don't understand. Okay, that's what the BTM killer does. He uses motel rooms as torture dens for his victims. I've been following this case for months and my husband is doing everything that he does. I even found a pair of women's underwear in his back seat. Mrs. Balchuk, I think that you are misreading the clues. Uh, but the papers say that that's what the BTM saves as souvenirs from his victims. Their underwear. But there's more. Okay. I also found several boxes of condoms in his glove compartment. It's what he uses to cover his fingers so that he doesn't leave any fingerprints. Um, are you sure he's not using those for something else? What else could he be using them for? I mean, okay, but there's still more, okay? Okay. I also found a bag hidden in his trunk that had handcuffs and a leather whip. Okay, it's what he uses to bind and torture his victims. I don't think so. I'm sure that there's a different use for those. But, but there's even more, Dr. Richards. I was checking his credit card receipts, and I found that he's been making lots of purchases of women's lingerie and and, like, jewelry and things like that, and, and he hasn't given any of that to me. Look, I really think that there's a better explanation for this than that he's killing people. But the news says that the BTM killer is a transvestite who dresses up as a woman in order to, to gain their trust and lure them back into motel rooms. Mrs. Balchuk, everything that you've told me can be explained. I think you need to just realize that you're misreading and misunderstanding the entire situation. No, I'm not! Okay, what finally convinced me was last night. 
I was calling and, and calling his cell phone. Okay. And someone finally answered. It was a woman. And she was screaming in pain. I, I called right during a kill. And I heard the whole thing. I don't think that that was a woman in pain, Mrs. Blackjack. I know what a woman dying sounds like. She was fighting for her life. And making was just like, like, ah, 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 oh, oh my ah, God. Ah, Mrs. Blackjack, ah. listen to me. Your husband is having an affair. What? You, you, you think... Yeah. And everything that you've told me now. Sit down. I'm so sorry. Stupid. Uh, well, of course. I mean, this explains everything. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm, I'm so relieved. I mean, this whole time, I thought that I was, you know, oh, God. <laughs> I'm not married to a serial killer. You've let your anxiety get the best of you yet again. But I am married to a cheating bastard. True. That no good, lying, low-life, bone-sucking douchebag, how could he do that to me? How could he do that to me? Cheating me, huh? Oh, I'll show him. What oh, are you doing, Mrs. I will show him I found this number. What are you doing? In his cell phone that I didn't recognize. Wait, calm down, Mrs. It Bum. must be you her. You don't want to do anything rash. I'm going to find out who this woman is and blow her brains out. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. Wait. Mrs. Oh. Baltrick, look. You don't know... You don't know what it... It's not what you think. I promise I can explain everything. Like, like, I, I swear. Oops. 